Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today for the new members presentation. It's already the end of October. And so as we do every month at the Blockchain Game Alliance, we are welcoming all the new members who joined the organization. If you are not familiar with, with the BGA, it's essentially a non-profit organization committed to promoting blockchain within the game industry. Our goal is to spread awareness about blockchain technology, such as non-fungible token, decentralization, DAOs, uh, cryptocurrencies, etc., to foster and promote new ways to create, publish game, create, engage with uh, communities, uh, and all of that around video games. Uh, so I wanted also to give a big thanks to our sponsor, namely Ubisoft, Animoca Brands, Arc, who is here and will be presenting today with Justin. Tell us more about ARC.io and thank you for being a sponsor of the BG. Sure, sure. And I'd also like to give a huge thanks for the opportunity to speak today. The BGA is actually a recent partner of Market Square, which is a product of ARC.io. I'll touch on that just very briefly, but today I want to talk about the ARC blockchain platform, the ARC blockchain framework, and the tools that ARC offers to developers who want to integrate blockchain technology into games. So we like to describe ARC as the simplest way to blockchain because everything we do is based around bringing ease of use to users and developers who want to dive into blockchain technology. A little bit about the company, uh, the official name for the business entity that helps maintain the open source code base is Arc Ecosystem SCIC, which is a business entity that formed in late 2017, but the project started in late 2016, actually. And since then, we've had over 350,000 installs by over 120,000 followers, using our eight products and executing over 4 million transactions from over 136,000 wallet addresses. Since I'm talking about the business entity, I wanted to let you all know that we are hiring. We have six open positions right now. You can learn more about them on our website and apply to any of them at jobs at arc.io. So at the heart of the Arc ecosystem is the Arc public network. This is a very lean and fast, scalable blockchain network that runs on delegated proof of stake with very fast block times of eight seconds. And uh, 51 active delegates are in charge of uh, reaching consensus, adding new blocks, and generating new ARC coins. Users can use the ARC in their wallets to vote for delegates. And this is how we can achieve decentralization and scalability at the same time. Our consensus mechanism has some tweaks to the delegated proof of stake mechanism that uh, take away some of the negative aspects of the consensus mechanism that we've seen with other projects. The public network runs a crypto asset called ARC. Now, since we're talking about the, uh, the network, I wanted to actually just briefly touch on the exchanges that ARC is on because the primary purpose of the ARC public network is to act as an on and off ramp for the ARC ecosystem, which actually consists of multiple standalone interoperable blockchains. So it's not like Ethereum or Tron where everything is running on one network. Arc has a multi-chain approach. Developers and communities can get sovereignty as well as scalability by having their own chain and control their own developmental future. So when developers choose Arc to work with and launch their own customized chain for their use case, they can rest assured that the on-off asset is available on over three dozen exchanges. This is not investment advice. But Arc is more than just a network. It's actually a platform consisting of multiple products and projects that both developers and users can enjoy. I like to start off with the flagship product of the platform, the Arc Desktop Wallet. We have a sterling reputation in the industry for having one of the best, coolest wallets that is very easy to use. It launches instantly with no need to sync and users can vote and stake while offline so they don't have to have it running all the time, which is very convenient. It's also compatible with hardware wallet devices, uh, the Ledger Nano uh, S. To complement the desktop wallet, we have a mobile wallet as well. Many of the same features as the desktop wallet, but you can do all of that on the go. We also have a very simple and easy to understand and use Block Explorer. The Arc Explorer allows users to track balances, see delegate activity. Uh, we think that it's, it's much better than some other explorers that have to deal with things like the U UTXOs, like on the Bitcoin network. So ease of use, simplicity, th these are our core values right here. Arc is also built for developers because our goal is to provide a set of tools that developers can use very quickly and easily in order to deploy custom blockchain solutions or integrate blockchain into their existing practices and processes. We do this through the Arc blockchain framework, which is a collection of libraries. It's a code base 
that developers can use that's authored in TypeScript in order to do all of these things. The uh, framework also comes with SDKs as well, popular language SDKs that allows developers to interact with their new chain or the Arc Public Network in their language of choice, be it uh, Python, be it C++ or other popular languages. Our framework is backed up by extensive documentation that covers all of our aspects, all of the, the products, all of the projects, all of the SDKs. If you're an exchange that wants to list Arc, we have specific documentation for that. And we even have programs and incentives for developers. Like for example, the Arc Grants Program, which can award developers with up to 10,000 USD worth of Arc for uh, developing using Arc technology. Now, another cool thing about uh, our Arc framework is the big question, which is how do we handle smart contracts? Uh, of course, this is a big thing that's going on. Ethereum brought smart contracts to the space. But what we're doing is we're actually turning them on their head by deploying what we call Arc Logic. This allows developers to create Arc smart transactions using TypeScript instead of using a, a custom language. They can use a language that they're already familiar with, and they can create these smart transactions discreetly, where they each do a very specific thing. It's not Turing complete, which means that it's much less prone to security vulnerabilities. Now, I talked earlier about how Arc is a multi-chain ecosystem, and we have all these tools for developers to uh, customize their chain with custom transaction logic. However, we need a quick way for developers to deploy a chain at the beginning, to create a chain and deploy it onto nodes. It's not an easy task. Well, for years, we've been working on making it easier because that's our main goal here. So what we have uh, developed is what we call Deployer, and we're releasing a new version of this product during Q4 that allows you to deploy a chain in one click and it will automatically go onto VPS instances using services such as DigitalOcean, and you can customize your chain with over three dozen customizable parameters. So you can make the chain truly your own. This is a very helpful tool to help onboard developers onto the ecosystem. Also at the beginning, I talked about how, uh, how BGA is a recent partner of MarketSquare. MarketSquare is the new uh, homepage for the decentralized web, and it's kind of like a cooler version of LinkedIn for the cryptoverse that allows blockchains, businesses, delegates, and developers of applications to discover each other and forge relationships and get their, their products out there, their services out there. That's what MarketSquare is all about. That's coming soon during Q4. You can sign up for the public beta mailing list at marketsquare.io. I'd like to close this presentation with a live use case example of game developers using Arc technology. Uh, if you go to our YouTube channel at youtube.arc.io, you can find a video there where I play five different games powered by Arc technology, developed and deployed by one of the delegates of the Arc public network. Arc.io does not run the Arc public network, it's run by the public, and delegates run additional community services. There's a delegate called Delegate Fun that's developed these games, and it interacts with the Arc public network where you can win Arc daily for playing these games, and you can also play with other people directly. And I play a game with Dean Van Dugtren, CEO and founder of Compendia Network, built on Arc Core, and interview him a little bit about the network. Dean loves to speak very highly about Arc. He does that on, on my podcast at podcast.arc.io. He really likes the framework and using TypeScript and just the way that it's all easily set up. It looks like we have one minute for questions, and I'd like to thank you very much for your time and attention. Great. Thank you, Justin, for this presentation. It's good to see, uh, you see here, yep, good to see uh, at the last part as well, a concrete example of game. What's the most popular game on the platform? Like, uh, any good story to share on that one? So I don't personally have the, uh, the statistics or metrics on which of these games is the most popular because they're not developed in-house via Arc.io. They're developed by yes. a third-party developer. However, my personal favorite game actually is the uh, four-in-a-row game. It's similar to Connect Four, where it's like a more complex version of Tic-Tac-Toe. And it's blockchain powered, so every move is a transaction. And the cool thing about this game is that it's turn-based so you don't both have to be sitting there. You can execute your transaction, run your move, and then wait however long it takes for the other person to respond. Uh, so I think that's a very, uh, a very good example of a simple way to implement blockchain technology into a game that regular gamers can understand, and it's not too complicated. 
Excellent. Well, good to hear. It's good to know there's asynchronous games that uh, I remember all draw something and all the mobile games that were really popular at some time. It's the same type of game. So great to see now. Now there are games with blockchain technology involved behind that runs on our .io platform. So I want to thank again all the, uh, the new members who joined the BGA and presented today uh, their company and games. And well, I, I uh, invite you to keep following us on all the activities that the BGA is running um, to keep pushing the adoption of blockchain technology inside the gaming industry. Thank you, everyone, and have a good end of the day wherever you're based. Thank you. Bye-bye. Great. Bye-bye.